movie from Korea that released in the West in February 2022, after initially releasing in Korea in 2019. Where we have a little friend, man. At this point, it's been almost a year and a half since I've played Lost Ark regularly, and now I'm feeling the urge to revisit the game, see what's changed, and ultimately see if the game can make me want to stick around. Lost Ark in 2023. Starting out, I open the game. I see that there's a new fresh start server, but due to my previous progress with map completion and card collection... Don't go over there, bro. You're gonna be, it's you and Matt to base on that server, bro. I decided it's best to stick with my old server as there was some content I really didn't want to play through again. I log into my sorceress, instantly giant UI pop-ups taking up half my screen, with one of them seemingly giving me rewards Hello, for Rana, achievements man. that Good I definitely see you, completed and How claimed you? during the game's launch. A bit weird that the game- This thing needs to go. It, like, I, I'm telling you, man, like I said, some of the things I got to experience recently, this guy's 293 Fions though. This little Makoko challenge thing needs to go. Just put the mats in their inventory. It is fucking... Or a claim wall. I don't even know if I want... Yeah, something like that. Forgot my progress here, but I spent the next 10 minutes claiming shit. I opened this my is character so window awful. and I've got zero gear score. I had a mini panic attack here, but it turns out my gear was just unequipped in my bags. Same thing happened on my paladin. Kinda weird, but okay. After claiming so much free stuff, I spent a further 20 minutes sorting out my bags, opening cards, and putting stuff in my bank. Yeah, like here's the other thing too, like, he opens his cards. Sorting out my bags, opening cards. And then he doesn't know that you, they auto, you can have the feature to auto-read all of your cards. I don't know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta tighten this up. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta massage the... You know, you gotta tighten it up. It's too much. You know, when you get into the game at the launch, everyone knows what's going on. They're figuring out the game together. And when you slap, like, all this shit at somebody all at once, it's just like, whoa, what, what the fuck, man? Same with BDO, man. I don't know how you... It was even yesterday, dude. Me and Saint were playing WoW yesterday, man. And and he, had, he hasn't played. And I realized, bro, last night I realized this. I'm, I used to always go do wow, retail wow so easy, man. It's so easy. That shit is not easy if you're fucking like watching Saint Saint's mouse cursor was this large. It's huge, dude, because he's losing track of where his mouse is and shit. He has no idea where it is. Bro, his mouse is this. He made his cursor the size of the screen. It's fucking massive, bro. And I'm like, yo, that shit's like retail wow is a lot, you know? But what I also realized last night is that the, the, there's a lot, like my, the depth on some of the classes are so sick. My class I was playing yesterday, I'm like, yo, this is fucking dope. You take a lot of the things either for granted and then you don't realize how complex some of the things are. And it's hard, man. Same here though, right? I'm like, Lost Ark's easy to get into, but then I watch somebody like this guy just get fucking gaslit with all this shit. And you're like, damn, bro, I feel bad. It's like an, it's like an innocent baby left out in the rain, you know? And they just need someone to help them, bring them in, into shelter, the warmth. Yeah, the barrier to entry is too high in all of these games. All of them, man. If you don't play an MMO at the launch, the barrier to entry is so fucking high. Fuck, is there anyone that's not overwhelming? I know, that's what happens with any game. That's exactly what, and I'm just thinking about it. Is there one that's not overwhelming? I guess 14 wasn't that overwhelming for the most part. Even when I just jumped straight at the end game, I guess it wasn't actually that overwhelming. Uh, there was some little like weird UI or like interface or like like th things or whatever like like the most overwhelming thing was the glamour system I guess which is not that big of a deal and putting stuff in my bank with clean bags I was finally ready to play the game I looked at my map and saw an icon for something called throne spire this wasn't in the game the last time I played so I decided to check it out the numbers look a lot different from the last time I played yeah. as well I like this new throne spire thing so you basically just Keep going forward, just killing like loads see, of things in a in a. Like that's what I'm saying when I that's what I'm saying when I first played this game. The dumbest shit was cool to me. That's what it was though. That's what I'm saying. So if someone's brand new, just do the dumb shit, fuck around, and then you can leave. But just like you can have. Some, dude, I, I remember I'm like, oh my god, I'm playing storming mobs. I was doing whirlwind on my berserker. I was doing chaos dungeons, and I was batting. I was like, ah, you know what I mean? The dumbest shit. The dumbest shit was cool to me. I was in a guardian raid and I thought I was going on an adventure. Straight up. I threw the flare. I was like, Arr! and then you get to see where it's on the map, the music. You're like, oh shit, it's a big ass fucking lion. You know what I mean? It's like, you get all excited and stuff. And then it's like, now you look at me, like, oh, fuck all this shit. Linear area. 
Very cool. Yeah, first to awakening base. stuff. So that's all it is. You just keep running forward and massacring things. Like the mob density is so cool as the well. The good old go days, man. Yeah. So you kill a bunch of mobs. And then you go fight a boss. Big damage, pop the ulti. Yeah, I've really missed Lost Ark's combat. Yeah, it feels good. Next, I headed over to the Guardian Raid board to see if there were any changes. Did they remove the thing where you have to do Guardian Raids twice a day? There's only one of these things here now. I was really happy to see that you only need to do one Guardian Raid per day now, as doing it twice he per day was something from the latest that Guardian kind Raid. of contributed to my burnout back at launch. I jumped into a Chaos Dungeon, and these seem exactly the same as the last time I played, where you need to run them twice per day. I always enjoyed Chaos Dungeons though, so not a big deal, unless you're doing it on multiple He should have got a shard of destiny. It to get a bit tiring. Have they enhanced the sound effects or something? The game just feels like... <sighs> Maybe I just remember it wrong. Maybe it just feels so good because I haven't played for a while. Or I've been playing bad ARPGs. Fuck me, the sound effects in this game are so good. Oh. After just one Chaos Dungeon, my bags were rammed with gems, accessories, and stones. Thankfully, the game has an auto-dismantle feature that will help you sort through these drops, but it does take a bit of setting up. For this, it's probably best to copy someone else's settings who knows what they're doing. Next, I took a trip to my- I want one Chaos. I've thought about this, but I want them to make it just- if you want it to take the time, I just want it to be longer. I don't want to leave, get back in. It's something about when I get in and go back, get out and go back in. I just want it to be, you can make it longer, sure, or more, just, just make it one time, though, like a bigger event. I don't know why they didn't want to do that. Just do an extra floor or something. Fuck it. Like, you know, floor four or some shit. I began this game from last April, and seriously, from the beginning, it is becoming good and good. To show the skins on the loading screens? <laughs> Wait, I never thought about that, dude. Wait a minute. That's so fucking five head. What if that's the reason why they make you do all of these fucking loading screens is to advertise their shit. I never even thought about this. All of the fucking, you know, like the triports and the dailies, the unas. You pour does anyone, okay, hold on. Let's really, does, does, does anyone look at it? Does that work on anybody though? Does that work on anyone? Do you guys look at the screen and go, fuck, I need to buy that. Over time, it's like a slow, it slowly chips away at you guys, like, shk, shk, shk. and eventually, like, fuck, I need to buy this Coomer skin. I can't fucking resist. Ah, is that what happens? Like it just eventually just fucking chips away at you, and then you need to buy the fucking skin. I fucking need this. My stronghold to see if there was anything. Yeah, new. I'll play. I'm gonna play I've the new away patch for tonight. So long. I've got a refugee camp on my stronghold. My workers are back after a year of being out. This farm thing actually seems new from the last time I played the game. You've also got pet ranch as Fuzzy well. Man. At this point, I wanted to make a decision on which dollar. class to Can use my newly obtained now? power pass on. Choosing a main sure, was Fuzzy always man. my biggest struggle in Lost Ark, as each class is really fun. For group content, I enjoy chilling on a healer like Paladin or Bard, but playing those classes in solo content like Tower kind of sucks. In the end, I decided it'd be fun to play one of the newer classes added to the game since the last time I played. I went with the Glaver, but other new classes since launch include the Destroyer, Big Giant Hammer Dude, Wow, he hasn't Slayer, played since then. Basically a female berserker, the Arcanist, which is a DPS class that uses cards and Glaver. RNG, the Summoner, basically a mage that summons Thank ancient please. creatures, the Machinist, the Reaper. Nah, he played a lot. I remember this guy's Twitter, dude. His roster, I mean, obviously he swiped a lot. His roster was disgusting, dude. When it was a uh, fatal strat, six of the prime, nine months, man. Appreciate you, bro. Dude, you guys remember that shit? His roster was like five 1370s when I had like one Hello. or two or some prime shit. It was FTW. crazy. His shit was nuts. You know what it was, though, man? I'm telling you, dude. I heard Asmin talking about it, too. And I'm like, yep, that's what I've been saying, dude. And I remember people like, yo, bro. Stoops is going to ruin the game. Don't launch the game with tier three. It's because there was just, you had this whole item level range to go from, from zero to 14, 15 or whatever the fuck it was. And it was free for, it was free for all. And there were so many opportunities and ways to gather materials from the little islands and shit like that. You know what I mean? Your little seagull island and shit. It's so much shit. Uh, the artist and the aeromancer. I'm gonna have to go with Glaver. Let's give it a try. Pole Dancer. 
You cannot use this name. Pole. Mitsubishi. Crocodile. Wallpaper. Surgery. Yeah. Wardrobe. Curtain. Is he using chat GPT for these? Like, where is he getting these from? Really? Axe kick. Big stick. Ceiling. Roof. Carpet. CCTV. Lampshade. How is lampshade taken? Me? What? Cat litter. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's impossible to get a good name in Lost Ark. Cool name, I guess. We'll go with that. Right, Lazuti? So Bro, what? We go from all of those to like a fucking pizzeria name, Lazuti? What in the fuck is that? The Glaver. Let's try out some abilities. We've got the Q. W. E. Oh, we've got two stances. Interesting. It seems like the red stance might be more single target, whereas the blue one might be more, uh... Wow. Alien. Dude, a lot of people I've always lock in the glaver. the glaver. After creating my glaver, and then I, wanted to make I realized one too. that I could straight up buy a power pass that would instantly take me to the new content and skip stuff that I hadn't even played through once yet. Yeah. This part. thing is actually the biggest gotcha right here. Cause you get a 1415 pass, right? And then you can pay $10 to go to 1460 and skip a three hour quest chain if you're new. I mean, this is the biggest gotcha. It's like, you gotta do it, right? They give you this one, damn well knowing you're gonna buy this one, right? And skip stuff that I hadn't even played through once yet. Holy shit, this motherfucker is juiced up. The old Glacier Pass. It was quite expensive, but I tested it on my sword <laughs> and was instantly able to oh, choose Glacier. from a selection of 1460 item level gear. I didn't want to skip content that I hadn't even seen yet, so I decided to go back to my Glaver and continue off from South Vern, where what? I previously stopped playing the game on my main characters. Now excuse me while I spend the next hour reading guides on how to play the class. To Wait, my surprise, the Lost Ark devs did actually consider that boosting a new player instantly to the end game would have them extremely confused with things yeah, like Yeah, this thing is still very good. the right stats and accessories, different builds for different types of content, gems, skill add-ons, and so on. Which is why when you open the Super Makoko Express in your UI, you're basically just asked which class engraving playstyle you want to go with, then the game provides you with everything that you need to jump right into the action. Next, it was time for me to upgrade my gear a bit with the resources. Fix this! I'm gonna sit here to the end of fucking time and complain about this until one day somebody working at this company has an idea of fucking how to make things. Like, this is crazy that this is still something in the game. Guys, it's it's literally exhausting on your... F Why does he even have to do this? Just fucking make it just... Boom. <laughs> When a new dude, it's crazy. Just auto hone or something, man. It's too many taps. Listen, I get it. Like in a few other games that you might play, you don't get that many attempts, bro. In this game, you hone so much, and it's such an insanely difficult experience. Like just watching this pisses me off. It actually just upsets me watching this. I'm still traumatized from my last honing session. I don't. It's 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 exhausting. Bro, you go to a casino, dude, right? You go to a casino. That's a crazy example, but like, come on, boys. It's fucking, it's Gamba, right? They come over there. They ask you if you want a drink, dude. If you're, I mean, if you're dropping big bones, like you want something to eat, they fucking got like, you're they're, they're like, they're coming to check on you and shit. And this shit, they just fucking, like, they just kick you in the fucking nuts while you're doing it, man. It's so insane. They don't make it easy at all. It's crazy. The game was showering me with from the Makoko Express. I still hate the gear enhancement window. Like to skip the animation, I hate how you need to like click check results, then click here and here, and then you see it. Why can't you just click a but tick a box that says skip, and then just spam click it like in BDA? <laughs> ah, it's validation, validation. It's not a big deal, Steve. It's just because you play the game. It's just because all you do is swipe and shit. It's it's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. It's fucking awful. The guys played the game for eight minutes. Pre-watch? No, it's awful. No contrarian call. It's about one. It blows, man. It blows. And you would think that the, out of all of the things that they act, the, the things that you do in the game, this would be like the, the one that they spend the most time on making it fucking. Like, oh, this is, it should be enjoyable at least at the very, like, like a smooth process. 
eat my mats and let me move the fuck on. Do you think it's, I don't think they, I don't know what it is, man. It doesn't, guys, even if they want it to be frustrating, the screen is bad. The window is bad. The screen is bad. The animation is not great. It's, it's, it's not, dude, like in these other games, like fucking, what is it, dude? Uh, Hawkeye Star Rail. It's like, I don't know. The way that they do it is way, it looks, it should be the best looking fucking thing in the game, bro. It should be. I mean, arguably, it's where they make a lot of their money, right? I think I said the exact same thing at launch when I played this game and people were just saying, oh, you can skip the animation by clicking these two boxes. <laughs> yeah, you can, but it's a bit clunky, isn't it? It's a lot of extra clicks. This pass literally gives me everything I need. Okay, let's pop all of these. Now I'm level 53. <laughs> Not looking too great with this basic ass outfit. We need a skin. Oh, that's nice. Bikini skin. That's why people play this game. Cat girl. Spoiled for choice. We could either go with this one or we be a degenerate. Full set of level 15 and that's took me to the 14.90. Bunch more rewards to claim. So now I'm gonna accept the El Glacier quest line. I've never done this one before. The way to El Glacier is open. <laughs> El Glacier. Okay, I've been calling it El Glacier. Yeah, this is a very nice looking city. It's like a sky city in the clouds. I love that you can skip all of this dialogue now by just pressing <laughs> shift G rather than spamming G. Yeah, beautiful city. Just enjoying the comforts of the floor. For the next few hours, I was reminded why story skips exist in Lost Ark. As the questing at times can just have you running back and forth talking to various NPCs, walking slowly, doing emotes, waiting for small talk, and killing tiny packs of creatures whilst slowly making your way through a zone. Pretty boring stuff, honestly. Typically, though, Lost Ark's main quest lines end in an epic dungeon with multiple fun boss fights and great cinematics. And here, El Gacia certainly didn't disappoint. I love it when they the camera Glacier, kind of yeah. zooms out and rotates and gets a nice pan of the environment. Yeah, I'm not really feeling the Glaver. I think once I've done this quest line, I'm going to go back to the good old Sorceress. Yeah, what? let's jump right into that. Bro, you don't fuck up. This ain't the game to be doing that, motherfucker. You just boosted this to 14 using the Hyper Express. It's over for you, bucko. I mean, I don't know what game you think you're playing. You want to swap back? You don't like what you're playing, so you want to change and go back? No, 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 my man. No, 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 no. This isn't the game for that. Wrong. We will end oh. it. I love the way these guys just summon the sword out of thin air. It looks so badass. Yeah, the visuals of this whole entire area and questline have just been like top tier compared to the rest Saddies. of the game. Can you imagine if they upgraded this game to Unreal 5? Oh, that's yes. a lot of mobs coming in. Never oh, gonna happen though. I love it when the game f throws like crap tons of mobs at me. Cleave them all down. Dodge that. I mean, the glaive is pretty good for AoEs, I guess. She's bringing the island closer to us. That's cool. Big flying monster incoming. Let's try and dodge. This is gonna be our next boss, clearly. We're gonna absolutely destroy this thing. Probably dodged that. Now we pop the LT. Big damage. Yeah, the Glaive for damage does feel like really lackluster. This definitely isn't the class for me. It, it looked cooler in the trailer than it actually feels to play. Sometimes you get hit by things that like you look. I mean, controls boring as fuck though. Yeah, I mean, it's not really his fault though i mean maybe he doesn't like glavier either you don't have tripods you don't have gems and all the stuff i mean you have gems like it looks like you're out of the uh telegraph all big damage he's got high ping oh though. now we're critting new mount unlocked sky manta ray whale this part of the msq is actually pretty good to be Yo, fair. loyal Definitely feels like thanks for the prime five the months mr man welcome back MSQ to the snail line. juicer yeah. club I need to stand here is that what the thing is for i, I guess El Galia no, home. destroy the shield. Okay, got it. Grab the shield and then stand here. Raise the shield. Then I've got to hold it and then release it here. Okay, and then we parry the statue. It's kind of cool. Finish him. Sit. To start making my own choices. Big damage right in the back. There's some crits. That's what we want. Okay, so right now I can't actually attack him. I just need to dodge stuff. Okay. Oh, oh, like, yeah, actual shadows. I see. Oh, that's really cool. 
I should have read that the first time where it said shadow, move into the shadows. So now what? Here? No oh shit, where's the next shadow? Where's the next shadow? Over here. Oh, we're, we're okay. Wee. I think, I think we're okay. Use a healing potion with one HP left. Don't you just hate it when you fight a boss, you get their HP bar to zero, but they're not actually dead. Just <laughs> every fucking Legion raid Yo, in this game, dude. Cool That's every Legion raid in this game. <laughs> Are we lagging? What, what's going on? What well, the fuck? Delayed, wasn't it? And now half the platforms crumbled away. Yo, what an insanely epic boss fight. Okay, Lost Ark's cutscenes. Absolute top tier. Our oh, mind's too strong. I feel oh. like I'm watching like Dragon Balls. I Kunifa drops the shandy. <laughs> Wait, as he says that, and then he puts the shandy, dude. That cutscene is not top tier, dude. I don't know if he does it. <laughs> he puts the shandy in the eye. <laughs> Yeah, they're not the. I mean, this is a really cool like fight and like cool dungeon and everything. But yeah, I wouldn't say that they cut. They, they're, it's, oh, they're old. Z or something. It's Armin and Cade in here. Mate, like it's so cool how they're like fighting across the environment that I'm trying yeah, to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this has got to be like the finale, the, right at the Tower of Light. L'Oreal is the worst fight it's in the game right now. This is the worst. This is the worst dungeon in the off. entire game. Yeah. By far. Dodge. Okay. We'll it's not as bad as Brel Gate now. 5. He's just old Brel Gate 5 enough. 6, but it's, it's the most second place to that to me. Lost Ark so far. The cutscenes, the camera I really don't like it, traversing yeah. the dungeon, the boss mechanics. Nineveh's got him with this arrow. Well chosen. No, it's not an ad. Oh. This has made me want to play the game again. So this giant sky city is now falling down to uh, Arcasia. Long walk. Here's what I want to know. He did a Destiny 2 review. And he got really overwhelmed there. I am not. I, I'm not gonna say I want to try Destiny Two because I've already got too many like little MMO projects I want to go do and try. So I'm not gonna say that. But I'm curious what is for those of you that have played Destiny Two when you walk into that shit. Is it like fucking oof? Is it or is it like is it, or is it because he's played this a little bit in the past, so it's not as oof in his face? No, I don't want to try. I actually I can't. Like I don't have time. I, I don't want to say I will. Light. So now we arrive at Trixian with the final arc piece. These are some absolute top tier. It's a great scenes. day today, huh, guys? Very, very lot of fun. impressed. We a lot of laughter. Have a name for the key that vanished. Have my Sheltron. The lost arc. The name of the game, mate. The, the visuals of this area up here look so beautiful. When is a giant dragon in a game not cool? Never. This whole cutscene sequence at the end of the El Gacia MSQ genuinely blew me away. The music, the voice acting, the camera work, everything was on point. And even though I've been out of the loop with Lost Ark's story for a long time, and typically don't care about story in MMOs, watching all of this made me, at the very least, want to care. If there was a Lost Ark anime, I'd definitely watch it. Next I decided that I'd had enough of my glaver and spent the next- It does exist! Next few hours rolling back to Sork and catching up to my latest progression. Man. Unfortunately, this meant that I could no longer benefit from the Makoko Super Express, which gives you rewards all the way up to 1540 gear score. Glaver's progression. Unfortunately, next few hours rolling back to Sork and catching up to my Glaver's progression. Unfortunately, this meant that I could no longer benefit from the Makoko Super Express, which gives you rewards all the way. But couldn't he just swap over? You could change it though, right? He already honed. Couldn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you used to be able to change it, like until you, until you finished it? You used to be able to do that, no? That I swear you used to be able to do that. Not on this one, I know, but you used to be able to do that in general in the game. You used to be able to change it. I know not for this one. I get that now, but yeah, until the level cap. That's what it was. Yep. Up to 1540 gear score. I also had to set up my five level three engravings myself this time, which wasn't actually as much of a pain in the ass as I'd expected. Well, so many mats, you just the lost. New filtering options in the UI for engravings, which didn't exist the last time I played. Well, he has five by three. good to be back on the sorceress. 
Just AoEing everything down. Oh, we got a bracelet drop. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a bracelet equipped. So I guess this is the kind of thing that you just keep re-rolling until you get like really good stats on it. Before continuing on my sorceress, I've just boosted an Aeromancer. This is like the newest class in the game, and it seems pretty cool, kinda like a mage. The main problem with Aeromancer is you're forced to play as a lolly. Aeromancer. Is it any fun? Oh, I can like put down uh, rain puddles. F ability. Let's test out the ulti. Okay, let's pop this. Oh wow, that's cool. The effect on that is insane. Yeah, the Aeromancer is pretty cool. It's it's like a almost like a combination of sorceress and some kind of melee class. So now that I'm f yeah, you know, I was just thinking. It's like fuck, dude. Now he can't. I don't know, you should be able to swap that Hyper Express around, bro. You should be you should be able to do that. Oh, you want to know why they probably don't let you do that, though? It's probably because they don't want you swapping around free engravings on a bunch of different characters for free 5x3 and gems. That's probably why they don't do it. 1490, the next thing I need to do to progress is the Brelshaza Legion Raid. I spent some time on YouTube looking up the mechanics and watching raid oh, guides no. for Brochaza Gates 1 and 2. No. The mechanics in the later stages of this fight seemed quite complicated, no. so I didn't want to overwhelm myself by consuming too much information. Wait, what? I'm extremely nervous. Wait, what? I can't believe myself by consuming too much information. I'm extremely nervous. I can't believe I fucking joined this group using my Chaos Dungeon build. I go through the effort of looking <laughs> up a guide and doing all of the research, but I didn't bother to double check and make I sure. Mean, that's what that I'm that's about to be right the there, build. bro. Absolute donkey. Oh, shit. I'm gonna die. Live. Okay, we survived. Getting him down. If I don't die, I'll consider it a dub. Stay alive. Go in with the I, ulti. I, 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 oh, we got him. Okay, game. I am genuinely shocked that he it's, he's got to talk about this, right? Because he literally didn't he, like he just. What did the chat say? Hold on. The mechanic by consuming. What the fuck? This Zerker zero engravings capital D. Hey, uh, oh yeah, some dips high. Like he just got in there. Like he gate one to two, no mechs. He found a Makoko. What? Yeah, zero engravings. That's what I'm saying. It's like he just rolled in there. Didn't even say any like, oh, I, I spent an hour and a half trying to get a group. He just rolled in there. Makoko lobbies exist. No, I'm just saying you think that he would be like, I can't find a group. But now I'm wondering two things. A, he got really lucky. B, EU's really friendly. I don't know if that's true. And three or C, I mean, the guy rolled in there with his chaos engine build. Like that's like that's that's that people, you know. Consider it a dub. Stay alive. Go in with the ulti. Oh, we got him! Okay, gate one down. And I didn't die. Honestly, he did his thing, <laughs> though. It's the correct build. He did okay, his thing. Okay, so this next part was an absolute disaster. <laughs> the raid guides I was looking at on YouTube had six gates, and of those six gates, I learned one and two. But in game, Albert! Memo! Where's the updated fucking raid guide, Memorizer92? Where's the fucking, a fucking updated raid guide? Madge Clap! Albert, you're looking for content? There it is. Yeah, I'm sure it's confusing. Nah, but that's fuck. Okay, it's there's only four gates. So the thing I was learning turned out to be completely different in game. I think the boss must have been updated or something, but needless to say, no. it didn't go well. Next time I'll use Max Roll instead of random YouTube guides. Can you start? Well, uh, uh, okay, I don't know what it is though. I'm just gonna wipe the whole group because he's told me I need to be a star and the fucking raid guide's not saying anything about a star. No! Oh my god, it's good. No, I feel so bad. Oh my god, I feel so bad. No! Oh no, this is what probably somebody feels, you know? Fuck, man. This is like the sad people, bro. Look at him. I actually feel so fucking bad. The pause too. It's gonna be a disaster. I was staggering it. Oh, we all wiped. Visually, bloody awesome boss. Boy. Boss fight though. I just wish it was a little bit easier to learn. So she said nine o'clock. Oh, but 
E Q D E S A W. I mean, that's, that's better than fucking so that's half. That's the bit where we fucked up last time. Now what? Oh. Yes! No! No! Here? Yeah. Alright. Is this, is this right? Okay. What is going on? Bloody hell. Screen is just like full of stuff going on. Very cool. I think we can go here. Nice. Are we safe? Oh, I did it. Good Damn. job. Oh, dodge that. Wow. I mean, asking him to do stars. Visuals of this boss fight are bloody Fuck, insane. they would have just cleared like, it. Realistically, he... I think if I did this like two or three times, I'd have this down. Yeah. That's not. Oh. That's the. Wait, why did he die? Oh, did he not get in the circle? Basically, I think if I did this like two or three times, I'd have this down. Yeah, I, I fucked something up. So that's where my Brelshazzar run ended. Thankfully, I didn't leave empty handed and got a bunch of phantom intentions which I could exchange for the next grade of gear that I needed to progress. Not gonna lie though, as cool as Lost Ark's Legion raids are, it does give me massive anxiety reading through so many complex mechanics and knowing that one person can wipe the entire group. I can imagine that for casual players, getting into Legion raids would be quite a stressful process. It'd be cool if there was some kind of training mode with AI party members where you could learn the mechanics in a stress-free environment. So next- I don't know, man. How many games do that? How many games do that though, guys? How many raiding games give you the ability to do the raid before you go into the raid? I mean, I, I, I'm all for whatever makes the little peepo happy, right? I don't want to see him all sad. You know, this face right here, I felt so bad. <laughs> I felt so bad for it. like this right here. I don't want that to happen. But my point is, it's just like, I don't know a lot of games that do that. Like, usually you got to look at a guide before. I think maybe because raiding is the only way for you to get your gear. I don't know, man. Like, you want to go pug in a... I guess it's just, it is what it is. If we want the game to be more accessible to the like, people and casual players, then yeah, maybe give them some more opportunities to figure out ways to learn the mechanics. But I don't know a lot of raids that do that. Yeah, I agree. Delete rehearsal and make an easy mode with rewards. Yeah, that's also not a bad option. I agree. That's what I was saying before. They should make it so rehearsal gives you some of the mats, some of the progression materials. Or, in my opinion, it'd be cool if you got less gold, but you got the progression materials. That way, because I don't, do we really care if so and so gets some of the progression materials? Like, who cares? Maybe you get them a little bit less, but just so they can at least get the armor stuff to progress their character. Info in the game isn't super accessible if you don't already know where to get it, especially with outdated guides out there. Yeah, that's fair. Tell Henry to make an official AGS guides and have it on the site. Actually, that's fucking true. Why doesn't Amazon make the guides? They're looking for content. Just have Henry make a guide. That's actually true. Why don't they just make their own guides and put it on the website? If they're looking for videos to make, I'm going to message this motherfucker right now. I'm going to timestamp it for him too. I'm going to say, he, uh... It's a pretty good watch if you are looking for something to do or do. Progress. <clears throat> Not gonna lie though, as cool as Lost Ark's Legion raids are, it does give me massive anxiety reading through so many complex mechanics and knowing that one person can wipe the entire group. I can imagine that for casual players, getting into Legion raids would be quite a stressful process. It's It'd a hardcore cool enthusiast game for sure, man. Mode with AI it really is. Where you could learn the mechanics in a stress-free It's definitely environment. an enthusiast so game. So next I want to try out some Guardian raids, as I think there's a few new ones that I've never done before. Yeah, I've done all of these. However, now I can do raid level 6. Let's start with Caligos, the because raids are it gives me resources hard. that I can actually use. Do it with the group. Frantically looking up a... Guardian raid guide on the other monitor. To be fair, you can probably just YOLO it, can't you? I can't imagine this one being too hard. The fight had pretty intuitive mechanics and was fairly chill, which is exactly how I like my Guardian raids. Dodge things on the floor, stagger this the boss, the worst and one. do big damage. Nowadays, you only need to do one Guardian per day, but I wanted to try out the previous ones because I never did them before. 
At the start of the Descaluda raid, I got a free battle item chest, which is an amazing addition to the game. When Lost Ark first launched, there were always players not using battle items, either from laziness or confusion. This hopefully has helped solve the problem. With that said, both Guardian raids were pretty easy, so and we cleared them without breaking a sweat. Next, I tried the Challenge Guardian raids, a weekly raid with equalized item level and decent rewards. Even though the gear was scaled down, we cleared the boss in two minutes with one guy doing 46% of the damage. <laughs> I then tried the new tower, Fortune Spire. I always enjoyed this content. You go through a series of floors each with a different challenge, from killing swarms of mobs, killing bosses, or surviving whilst dodging millions of explosions. Sadly, I could only do up to five floors due to my current item level. Juicy, juicy rewards. Give me a legendary card. Nope. Never lucky. I've checked out all the content that I wanted to touch on in this video, but before we get to the pros and cons, let's just check out some fashion. I need my sorceress to look exactly like this. 10 out of 10. There's been so many new cosmetics released since the game launched that everyone looks super cool. Tons of different mounts. Everyone's got like sparkly auras around them. This guy's got a disco ball mount. This person's got wings. Bikini meta. Of course, you got the odd furry knocking about the city. <laughs> I think warriors easily have the coolest cosmetics though, don't they? What is that sword? That is unbelievably cool. This character looks insane as well. Legendary skins. Very expensive. Cost about 100k gold the last time I checked. My character's feeling a little bit basic in comparison. Gonna have to swipe and get an outfit like this. Then I can actually play the game. Holy shit! Hey, 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 hey. Oh, hell no. <laughs> So after dipping my toes back into Lost Dark after Honestly, not playing for a oh. while, my thoughts are as follows. Pros, coming back and experiencing Lost Dark's gameplay after playing other top-down games. I still think, man, game. I really mean it. I still think this game just has to fix some more stuff, but I really do think, I, you know, after trying so many different MMOs, I really feel like this one is still one of the best ones. It's just, they just have to fix some dog shit that they refuse to fix sometimes, but I don't know. I've tried so many different ones. It just feels so good to play, but I hate seeing shit like this, man feels incredible. The combat of Lost Ark is just on another level compared to every other ARPG. The visual effects, the sounds, the animations, the fluidity of combat is absolute S tier. It's the BDO of isometric MMORPGs. Despite being made in Unreal Engine 3, a very old engine at this point, Lost Ark still looks great visually due to its art style and visual effects. 10.2 so extended. Much to do in Lost Ark, really, both Jimmy? In terms of horizontal progression and vertical, it's an alt-friendly MMO. I actually think <gasps> the story. <gasps> Holy shit! Progression and vertical, it's an alt-friendly MMO. Oh my god! Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, you do have a lot of alts. You do have a lot of alts, but it's not alt friendly. I actually think the story in Lost Ark is pretty decent nowadays. It seems kind of bad as a new player, but with the later content, you certainly start to care about the characters. The game has equalized PvP that you can jump into very early on. Lost Ark's endgame Legion raids are incredible content for hardcore progression minded PvE yeah. players. The Lost Ark soundtrack is probably one of my favorite MMO soundtracks. And despite not being an emotional guy, there's been a 
a few cutscenes where the use of music has brought a tear to my eye. Easily top 3 MMO soundtracks of all time, in my opinion. The cinematics in this game are so good that you'll wish a Lost Ark anime existed. In 2023, the game provides new players with all the tools they'll need to quickly jump into some of the best content the game has to offer at Endgame. In 2023, the game's fixed it's really a lot of weird issues to have talk about these things. Launch, such as the awkwardness of sorting through loot, no, you no longer have sponsored. to do Guardians twice a day, auction house filtering's improved, and you no longer have to go through hours of boredom to get to the fun stuff. And despite having a reputation for being a swiper's paradise, you can still fully enjoy Lost Stark as a free to play. Bro, like player. imagine this guy going head to head with Matza base in a debate. Like this shit's crazy, bro. Much more so than other Korean MMOs anyway. Cons. As much as Lost Ark's Legion raids are great content, as a new player you'll experience quite a lot of gatekeeping. He's not here yet, so. It's a catch-22. Players don't want inexperienced players in their party because there's a lot of mechanics where if one player yeah. fucks up, the whole group wipes, and players can't get experience because they I mean, they dude, I just want everyone to understand right now that I used to go ragey. You know the cat ragey emote? When I would sit there on, I would go do pug mythic raids in WoW to get a trinket all the time dude right and i would make a mythic raid group we would pug it and we would wipe on the second or first boss but i needed to clear this thing because i needed the trinket and i would go fucking ragey dude i'm like what are they doing? It, it, you, it's it's just how it is bro you don't want to wipe it doesn't matter if it's you don't want to wipe like you don't want to fucking people start dying you start getting it's it's the worst feeling man it's just how PvE content is, man. People just don't want to fucking wipe. It sucks. You need to have, the, 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 I'm telling you, man, the route they need to go is they need to have opportunities for people to have fun and progress doing separate things. Like, for example, in WoW, you have Mythic Zeros, Mythic Twos. They just added in their new expansion an out, outdoor solo like world progression where you can still get loot. They In this patch, they change it that where you can do heroic dungeons and like, whatever to get things from the vault like they made it eat progression in easier forms they, they just need to focus on that because you're not you cannot make it so people are not gonna be like oh come on in like me and you together oh i'm telling you it's fucking fake man like that's in you or it's not i keep saying this like i i want people to understand this it's in you or it's not you cannot make people all of a sudden go oh don't worry i've got more time now Dude, time is limited no matter what you want to do. You think they, they, you're wasting their time whether they have limited time or not because if they're playing with you and getting fucked in the raid and they're getting jailed in there, they're like, dude, I could be watching anime. Like, you know what I mean? It's in you or it's not, dude. You either are down to be there for the journey, the experience, or you're not. And I maybe it would help a little, but you gotta, you gotta give people the op. They're never gonna be like way nicer. You gotta give people the opportunity to do other things. That's why casual content and that type of like chillness vibe should be an option there has to be something like that because man like that's what this end game rating shit is bro it's 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 more of like you know somebody asked me yesterday yo steve i've never played wow before should i play classic or retail i said play classic because if you get into like the other it's going to be like you have to look up guides get into it it's a lot to take in it's a lot of shit to do I don't think Koreans understand that. I think it's a thing in a lot of MMOs. I, I really do. I think it's a thing in a lot of, a lot of, a lot of MMOs, man. I don't think it's just in this one. They had that the first season. I think this is why 14 is good, peaceful. You want to go hard, you can. You want to go slow, you can. There's not a lot of people that play behind. I think 14 is because it's not so focused on that. The, emph the, the, end, the end goal for everyone isn't savage raids. And Lost Ark, you literally cannot progress in the game unless you increase your item level. Like, you have to do that. And in order to do that, you have to do the raids. You don't, there's, you lose the sense of progression when you're not doing that. You lose, you, the point of the game is gone. The point of the game is completely gone as soon as you can't do the raids. And that's not, I think, it, it's got, we got to shift away from that a little bit. Right, ratings, ratings should be is, is, is for me is part of the game, right? But it shouldn't be the only thing. No, I know. Listen, forever, rating is why you play the game a hundred percent. Well, at this point, it is the reason why everyone plays the game. But we could have people that play like for some people, it's not what they want to be the only reason why they play the game. It should be, it should be. There should be things for everyone to enjoy. And for right now, rating 
for me, it's literally the classes. I wouldn't say it's the rating. To be completely honest with you, man, the rating was the emphasis of the game for me the first few times I've done them. That's it. Now, it's not like the point of the game at all. I don't live... Now, it's the classes and the combat. So I make new classes all the time. I try... I need that. If I cannot do that, you know, then I lose the fun of the game. I, I, I can't sit with the same roster, you guys. I can't. I'll be bored. What am I going to do? I, what am I doing? There's no infinite farm. I'm doing the same dailies for what? I need to be able to do new things, like try out new classes. I have to. If I can't do that, then fuck. It's, I, there's no fun for the game in me. There's no, you want to, I'm doing Brel again for what? Just for a little bit of gold? I want to play a new experience. So everybody plays for, but listen, but everybody plays for different things. You and me play for different things. Not you and me, like you specifically. Some of you play for different things than me. Some of you like what I like. Ride MMO, save us. That's why I like to play different ones here and there, man. I try to find different ones. So far, the one that I've had, that really got sunk into for a while is BDO. I think WoW is going to be really fun for a bit. And I like to do different things when I feel like I can't get what I want out of Lost Ark. And then, but I still am always going to play because I really think the game is just... Groups. You'll see most parties asking for titles to join the raid, but you need to complete the raid to get the title. You might also be declined from the groups even if you have the title if you play a non-meta class or have a low roster level. I'm not sure what the devs could do to fix this issue, other than perhaps make a really good training mode where players could group up with AI NPCs to learn all of the mechanics. Gatekeeping just seems to be something that every MMO with difficult PvE content struggles with, due to players not wanting to have their time wasted, and being punished too hard for failure. The game has gender locked classes, if I want to play the new Aeromancer class for ex example, I need to be a fucking lolly character. The, November update's gonna the be RNG gear enhancement system will most likely raise your blood pressure. Realistically, you're going to be spending hours looking up guides this if you is stick a with this game. There's too much RNG progression system. This, this right here... There's too much RNG. The fact that somebody can pity a 23 weapon and you can and you can one tap it is fucking months of farming of difference. It's too much RNG. Long term, not just for your class, but for every gate of every Legion raid boss. Fions still exist in the game and are a pain in the ass when it comes to the auction house. I actually expected the devs to have removed this from the game by now. The game is widely considered to be pay to win, and for the most part, the game's questing, especially early on, is so mind-numbingly boring that you start to question if it's intentionally designed to be as boring as possible to sell story skips. Overall, as a gameplay above everything else kind of MMO player, I really do like Lost Ark. The game has its issues, but I think overall I'm more positive about the game than negative. That being said, I think casual players that don't care about the endgame legion raids might be left with a feeling of what's the MM to sell Hold story on. skips. Overall, as a gameplay above everything else kind of MMO player, I really do like Lost Ark. The game has its issues, but I think overall I'm more positive about the game than negative. That being said, I think casual players that don't care about the endgame legion raids might be left with a feeling of what's the point when it comes to Lost Ark, because the legion raids really are the be all end all of the game. It's what you gear up for, it's why you farm the skill points and do the horizontal progression. Without that, it's just a lot of daily content. Going forward though, I do think Lost Ark will continue to improve. The game has a great content creator community, the devs seem to be listening to feedback, wow. and there's a lot they could do to ensure that this game is still around five years from now. Ultimately though, after I stopped recording this video, I did feel a desire to log in more and keep playing the game, so Lost Ark must be doing something right. But that's it for this video, as always let me know your thoughts on Lost Ark in the comments below, and if you're a long term player of the game then let me know what issues you'd most like to see addressed by the developers. Help us out with a like to appease the algorithm gods, social media on screen, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Damn, write him a message? No, that's cringe. Yo, bi yo big P, <laughs> wanna play sometime? This guy has kind of become more of that casual dude anyway. He does grind a lot, but I, it seems like whenever I watch his videos, not casual, but he likes to like, he's like, he. I feel like he represents a good middle ground, like where he's kind of like the average MMO player, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? He's like your average MMO guy, I feel like, where he likes a little bit of everything almost, you know?
Yeah, maybe you're a mid-core kind of player or something. I don't know. You know what I'm saying, though? He falls in that. I'm starting to become more like that, but then I still like the, like, like probably the upper end of that. I wouldn't say I'm super hardcore either, but I do play a lot when I want to play.